First of all, I look like I literally work for Ashamari Hair. Like, hello, welcome to Ashamari Hair. Let me take your order. Baby, I got the full uniform on, and I'm out. Hey guys, Nikki here, your lit auntie, and we're back with another question and answer. I ask these questions over on Instagram and I answer them here on YouTube. It's your opportunity to be a little nosy or whatever, or get to know me better. I've done so many of them. I am always so curious to know what you guys are going to ask because what is there left to ask, right? Um, but this is a life update. It's a life update six months ish after my divorce um and the questions got a little spicy but before we get started this is sponsored by ashamari hair <sighs> you guys know i love ashamari hair i've brought you guys bangers from them before i brought you guys this exact same wig from them before just a different color so let's get into that tutorial really quick so let's hop straight into the packaging. It's a gift bag. Here's our box. You guys know they fill it up with goodies. Here's an edge band. Here's some Invisa straps, an instruction book. There's an edge brush slash comb. Lashes, you will get a bonnet, a razor, a edge band, some tape, a wig cap, and a robe. Honey, I have so many of those robes. This is 26 inches of this beautiful water wavy honey blonde hair. This is a 360 wig, which means you can wear it up. The lace go around like that. It is pre-everything. The lace is pre-cut. The knots are pre-bleached. There is pre-plucking. There's a band in here to wear it glueless. There's extra combs in here because the combs are removable. And I love that because I hate these combs, y'all. They be taking my hair out i feel especially my edges um there are the invisa straps in here that you pull they are clear okay so you pull it tight 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 you move that stopper and that's what allows you to wear this up i do have this exact same wig in black if this feels like deja vu and i absolutely love it first i'm gonna take this new urban decay urban decay foundation i will link it below um, to do my lace because it is waterproof and it doesn't need a powder to dry and I feel like that would be perfect under a wig right so this is 360 so we're literally going to have to go the whole perimeter the whole thing because we're pinning it up I'm going to do it just like the black one that they already sent me so just take your foundation and go haywire so there is a middle part in this because it's on it is oh this is my color i love this color especially when i'm done with my makeup child but it's giving very much beyonce very much glueless you can wear this let me zoom in a little bit more don't even need any glue or anything you can just pop this mug on every day but i hate they put this middle part in here because i'm gonna have to take it out because we're going up in a bun i'm gonna wear this the exact same way that i wore the black one but i'm so happy that they did put the middle part in here so to show the diversity in this wig and the different ways that you can wear it i'm not gonna comb this hair out because i don't want it to get too puffy and I want that curl pattern to stay the same. So let's see if we can poke our ear out without having to do something with the ear tabs. I don't think we can because this is going to show. So I'm going to have to make a quick look, smile look slit up in here somewhere. The two slits have been cut. So we're going to take the got to be glue. So you can't even tell. Going to push this back. Whoo, come on forehead. Then I just take this and dry it. Now that the wig, the glue is like tacky, we're gonna go ahead and just put this back down and cover that forehead again. <laughs> and let's just take the band and tie it down. Let's go ahead and pull these ear tabs out and we're gonna go around the perimeter with the infamous, especially right now, even spray. They under some heat, y'all, they under some heat. But this is a big old brand new bottle. I told y'all to suggest new stuff I could use. Y'all have already been dropping it in my DM on Instagram. I highly appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Just spray these little parts so they can go and curl on up. And I'm just going to put my wax stick right here. 
So now what I gotta do is focus on making the back and the side look good. So we're gonna take these clear strings. First of all, put that comb in. So now what we're gonna do is take these strings and pull them as tight as we can. So this could be, don't let loose or that mug go pop you like a rubber band. And then put the stoppers up so it don't move. And then what you do is tuck it. The rest is history, guys. I will leave Ashamari hair below. You guys know I love them. They have coupon codes, split pay, quad pay. There's the back if you want to see it. And I absolutely love this wig. You should get it. Linked below. So now that you see how I installed the bun, the hair, it is just, I love this hairstyle, guys. I love it. Um, obviously. <laughs> let's hop into the questions and answer. We're going to do my hair and my makeup while we answer some of these questions. And let's just do it, all right? Let's just, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> Baby, y'all let auntie got the tea today. Let me put some contacts in. Arch my eyebrows. Put my veneers in and let's get ready for this very juicy question and answer that's very awkward because unlike my other ones that were centered around my ex-wife, this one is centered around the new boo. Well, the new old boo. So it's kind of awkward answering these questions right now, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so this time I only accepted... 15 questions because y'all will go and go and go and y'all be all of y'all let auntie be and <laughs> i be like girl um so I always answer the questions to the best of my ability as long as you're not disrespectful or anything I do have the right to say I'm not answering that of course and I won't answer it but I don't think you guys have ever ever asked me anything whew, to the extent to where I'm just like I'm not answering that First question is, how are you doing? Whoa, that's crazy. It's actually Mother's Day right now, and I'm home working. So, Mother's Day is already hard for me. You guys know that. I don't have a mother. I don't have a child. And now, I am into it with my only child I have left. Um, Nicole usually plans Mother Day. Usually plans mother da Mother's Day. Um, she's not here to plan anything. And so, I just say, you know what? I'm going to just work. I'm going to do what I know to do all the time. Work. And it's it's a little bit of a shift, but I get through it. And um, I got a lot of other stuff going on right now. But it's cool, yeah. I'm doing good. Like, energy. I have energy. Um, I don't feel sick. Um, so, I'm just happy to be alive and not, you know, have any health issues going on or anything right now. <laughs> we could go ahead and move it to the next question because I'm still trying to this baby these 360 weeds baby you got to put all the foundation around the whole shebang so I'm still tending this where are you going oh gosh who the hell is, who is this when are you going to show Mr. Giddy right like how many times you going to ask me that and how many times I'm going to answer it I was never going to show him and I'm sure I'm not going to show him now he'll never be on the channel I never show anybody I'm dating. Mm -mm. Y'all too vicious. Y'all are way too vicious. Y'all will try to pull up history, who they used to date, who they dating currently, who they. And I really don't be caring about all that, about who I'm messing with. As long as my needs get met, I'm getting what I want. Shh. Maybe you can pull up their whole goddamn background for all I care. But no, nah, I just feel like it, even when I was married, my spouse hated being on camera because y'all are vicious. Like, she would, y'all would leave like the meanest comments about her, and it would upset me. So she would just be like, Keep me off that camera. And life is so much peaceful when you keep people off camera. So even if I was talking to that man still, oops, did I do a spill of beans? Maybe not if my blog went live first. I'm no longer talking to him. Um, I was never going to show him. I don't care if people pose, I don't care if it was a wedding vlog. He was going to be blurred the hell out. <laughs> All right. So the next one say, do you miss having sex with a woman? Y'all went straight in. 
Y'all went straight in for the kill. Um, no. Six is six to me. <laughs> I'm finna say I'm very much like a male, but as long as I'm getting mine, I don't care where it comes from, okay? As long as you know what you're doing, as long as you put my knees just as much as yours, I don't care if it comes from a male or a female. All right? Um... Hey, I have to start all the things to tell y'all about all this, but I do feel like, um, only reason why it's more, how can I say this? Only reason why I got a thrill more out of women is because I feel like men are so self-centered. All they want to just beat it out the frame and worried about worry about them. But as long as it's a man who's just as concerned about me, I'm fine. So that was my preference in females over males. But um, it doesn't matter to me. Get her done. Yeah, I know when I do these, I run these fans so I can still talk and answer the question. So let me just get a little louder. What's your favorite? What's, God dang, slow down, girl. Your latest fave Arabic perfume. Do I have to say it? Do I have to say it? It makes you squirt. <laughs> it gets you slurped. Vert. <laughs> Let me grab it. There she go, right there. Vert. The what is the brand? I uh Mason Petite, Maison Petite, Prisme Collection, and Vert. There's an intense version. I got that too, but that one. Mm. 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 That one right there is so good, y'all. It don't make no sense. It's hard to find. If you're in Dallas, go to Classic Wholesales on Harry Hines and get it. Tell them Platinum D sent you. Ask for Rishi P. And, um... That's it right there, y'all. That's the one. That is the one. The My makeup portion. I have a makeup channel. This is the same routine I do all the time, y'all. It's a quick little beat. That's what we're going to put on while we go ahead and answer the rest of these questions. Where do you, where do we find the link for the hot dress? Hold on, because something is irritating me, y'all. Is it on here? Where do we find the link for the hot dress from Shein? It's very flattering. That white dress I just wore on the cruise. I wore the fuchsia one. I'm right here, yeah. Sorry. There you go. I wore the fuchsia one Valentine's Day. I wore the um red one or burgundy one on my birthday cruise. And the green one on Sugar Graduation Cruise. They're all linked in my LTK store. Every time I wear something, I put it in my LTK store. I, I say that every time I uh, post about, I say that every time I post it, um, I'm realizing a lot of people on Instagram and stuff don't read the captions anymore, especially on the reels. Oh, uh, but my LTK store, and I love that dress, obviously, it's very flattering on me, especially like the last three times I wore it, I didn't wear my shape or you really could see the difference. Like here's the green one. I look more pushed in and contoured. But them other times, girl, I'd be like, who am I trying to impress on this boat? <laughs> be comfortable and just wear some new panty girdles or something up under her. But yeah, said I let to say, that's where it came from. Next question is, out of all your exes, what made you give Mr. Giddy right another chance? That's so simple and easy to answer. He was my favorite. I think I said that. In um, one of them videos, child, I don't know. He was my favorite because I told y'all he has messed up twice. But then I explained in my most recent blog that the heartbreaks that he messed up with was controllable, but they wasn't. And I played a big part in them. Um, and I just feel like he's a great guy. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw how that man took care of me. Don't act like you did now. 
now i ain't gonna discredit the man now <laughs> he really did he's a great he's a great guy you can tell he has a great upbringing but i do still feel like for what i need right now he has a lot of maturing to do and that's why i was snapping on him so much because bro still ain't making the right decisions in life but that's why that's exactly why he was a good person. And I always said if I got a divorce, I was going back to the best ex. And I thought that's who it was because I have a big fear of learning somebody new. People are crazy nowadays. I mean, your exes can be crazy too, but people are crazy. I think I already went over this in another question and answer video. I wanted somebody who I know. I know their friends. I know their sister, their mama. So if they get out of line, it's, it's, it's up. Like, I am scared as hell, especially be in my line of work, because I smell this. <laughs> especially with my line of work, um, you never know who watching you from somebody or somebody's sister or something put them on you. Like, she's a YouTuber, she do this and she got this. I don't know, man. I just really feel like I want, I don't know what I want to do anymore. And everybody like, have fun, have fun. I really didn't want to be in the street, y'all. But they calling me. I keep getting pushed to them. And here's a safe space. So I had to disconnect. That was an X right there. But um, I just felt like he was the best one. And I felt like the reason why we didn't make it the first time was a lot of immaturity and a lot of mishaps. And I, I really had a lot of love for him. Um... It's a lot of things that I look in, at in relationships and stuff like if sir is good for my <laughs> go on say it y'all vagina because it's a lot of men and stuff that just be out here doing anything and I'm very fragile down there and, and I don't need people throwing my pH and stuff off and sir is very clean and it, it's just I thought that that would be the one. Yeah, I really love this. I need to talk about it on the makeup channel. This is the Laura Mercier Press Powder. So, I kind of gravitated towards what I thought. It didn't work out then because we were so young and dumb. But I know it'll work out now. And, yeah, it didn't. So, on to the next question. The next question. What do you do to maintain your energy mindset? I see a change in you. You're glowing. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I drink a lot of water. Y'all see, I don't go nowhere without a tumbler of water. And I refill it two to three times a day sometimes on a good day. Liquid IV. I love liquid IV. I tell y'all all the time, liquid IV, I feel like, save me, child. I could be drained as hell and drinking liquid IV or sugar-free Gatorade. And I'm putting too much of this on, but I just love it. It ain't nothing but the Lord Mercy and Chris Powder. And I feel a whole lot better, y'all. Now, what I don't have in here is my big sponge. I don't feel like going to get one out the beauty room either, so we just go use the brush today. Um, I stay active. I stay moving around. You guys are like, you pushing them vlogs out. Yeah, because now I got the energy to move around. I got the energy to do stuff. <laughs> I got the energy to really build content. You know what I'm saying? I move around a lot. And I'm very um, active. My hormones are balanced now. They were. No, they still finna be. Uh, you mean? <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. Drink lots and lots of water. Don't eat a lot of stuff that's gonna weigh you down. I know, like, I eat what I want now, but... I don't eat a lot. Like if you saw what Mr. Get Right used to make my plates. They all are really like little kids plates. We got to eat our serving y'all. As Americans, boy, we know we can eat. When I went to London, the servants compared to what we eat over here. <laughs> we, our backs are big for a reason. <laughs> we eat too goddamn much. But yeah, that's how I just maintain my energy. And I'm glowing now because I'm actually happy now. Like... I knew that divorcing the Nicole was something I needed to do for years, but was worried about her mental health, my mental health, the bills, the this, her not liking me. And now that it all has turned out okay, I feel a sense of relief because that was a lot. 
So that's the key to that. You got to actually find your happy space. In my vlog, I was telling you guys that my therapist, can y'all see me? Because this won't stay closed. My therapist was telling me exactly what to do back in the day and I wasn't doing it. And now I've literally done it and I feel a hundred times, not a hundred, 70% better. 70% better. So, yeah, I got to keep it pushing because that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, squish, seven. Do you feel that you have more time to complete things now that you are embarked on this new journey? Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all see how much I get done now? I just got done talking about that. I don't have to worry about what everybody eating, what they done ate, what somebody getting out for work, how they move go be. How, I just do me. I get up and I do what I want to do. I need to do. I had got so wrapped up in what do they need? What are they sick? Do they need to go to the doctor? Is their mental okay? Is that I had got so wrapped up in all that that I, I forgot that I need things too. I need to be poured into also. I need to be nurtured too. So I feel. So now I have more time to complete tasks. I don't have nothing to do now but work. Get my house together. And etc. I don't have a million people to worry about anymore. Or I don't have to worry about is this going to make my wife feel this way or. I don't have to worry about me out of town. I used to literally be scared to record out of town. It got Nicole would get an attitude when I worked. And I'm just like, dude, but I'm the reason why we out of town. You get what I'm saying? Like I she used to get so mad when I pulled out the camera or when I wanted to do a photo shoot somewhere and tell me to just enjoy the moment and stuff. And I'm like, I am enjoying the moment because I love my job. I love the type of work I do. This is fun to me. And I used to say, why would I go all the way back to Dallas, put this outfit on, find somewhere to photograph, and I'm already in this perfect spot, and I could just get a quick picture real quick and get paid. So I don't have to worry about, oh, is she going to get an attitude? Is her face going to start looking long? Is she going to say something because I want to blog this, because I want to take this picture? I can actually work. I can move freely. I can complete tasks more because my mind isn't so cluttered i would just lay in the bed lay in the bed and damn near get anxiety i would have stuff stacked up because my when your mental is off your physical is off so i wasn't feeling good a lot and so i really physically couldn't work sometimes and so now that i just keep it pushing and i just go on by my day and do what i need to do to survive child i could get some stuff done you hear me i can get five six sponsorships done in a day like i used to back in the day because my mind isn't cluttered girl just get up and work get this money have fun my job is fun as hell but i get to eat wherever i want for free almost visit locations for free i can travel when i want i don't have no kids weighing me down i don't have no spouse weighing me down um i don't have financial problems in a world that's full of them right now and i just feel like I, I, I'm thankful because, baby, I had got low, baby, baby. And when you get low, the energy get low, the mental get low, the physical get low. And I just feel 100% better, y'all. Find your happy space. Whatever it is make you happy. I like to go out again. I like to dance again. When people invite me to places now, I'm excited. I used to get anxiety. Like, oh, I really don't want to go because I ain't going to feel good. Or, oh, I got to fake like I'm happy. Now, if, if y'all see anybody invite me to anything, now I'm there. I'm there. Because I feel like I 75% feel like myself again. The only reason why I say 75% because I'm still adjusting. It's still a lot to adjust to. I had patterns and stuff for 14, 15 years that has switched up. So, yes, I'm technically still adjusting. But that's that. What is your deal breaker with friends? Um, I pay attention to a lot of stuff people think you don't pay attention to. And it tells me a lot about your character and how you would treat me if something happened or I got sick or something got wrong. And uh, here's a few deal breakers for me. If you're married and I don't like the way you treat your spouse or you're using your spouse, or um, you don't really like your spouse, you're just with them because of this. 
if you are if you are someone who you have a living mother and y'all don't have a relationship that's a turn off because i feel like everything can be fixed which is awkward talking about this right now because i'm not speaking with my daughter but y'all get what i'm saying it's a difference between being mad and just throwing your mama to the curve because of issues or something i don't know and then also i look at um i look at how you view life like if everything is a game to you or it's not serious to you that's a deal breaker to me too because girl what we grown and time's getting hard baby we gotta figure it out and figure it out all nighter So if you don't take life serious, your family serious, your spouse serious, your kids serious, I don't take you serious. Then, next question. No question, just want to keep, stay, keep being authentically you. That's why I love you. And if y'all wonder why I'm reading like I'm hooked on phonics already, I told y'all in another blog. I don't know what the heck my eye doctor did with my prescription, but count your days. Sick of it. Can, I can barely see what I'm reading. I will, honey. Thank you so much. I try my hardest in a world that's trying to change me so bad. It's so hard. But I try my hardest. And I thank everybody who appreciate me for being me and who love me, child. Love y'all too, baby. Baby. I ain't even playing with you, baby. Okay, so. We're going to run the fan real quick. Hold on, let me spray this some more. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more questions to go. How do you feel about your health, mental health right now? I tapped on it briefly, guys. I feel pretty good. My mental health, I feel really good. Like my mental, we go go with the. My mental health has transitioned so much. That's why I refuse to let everything that's going on right now defeat me because I know, I know things can get better i'm living proof that things can get better so this is just another storm that i'm going through right now um but my mental health is really really good as far as my physical health i'm still dealing with a lot of that uh, menopause stuff i'm still dealing with a lot of pain from the car wreck and everything but it's very manageable so i'm just thankful that it hasn't destroyed me and it's not really 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 bad to where i don't want to get up out the bed and all that kind of stuff and I'm just really grateful and thankful because, baby, it had got rough. Y'all saw it. Y'all first hand saw how I got, ooh, ooh, child. Y'all saw it. Wow, y'all really, really saw it. <laughs> That's crazy. But, yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Mental health, I'm probably 90% better. Physical health, physical health, I'm probably 70% better. Um... And let's just hope that everything improves. Keep going up. I'm trying to be 110. So I can have room to 110. <laughs> this question said, do you think you'll ever regret giving Mr. Get Right another chance? No. Nah, no, for what? I don't really be having no regrets like that. Even now, now that we ain't talking, I don't regret talking back to him. I got a lot out of the deal, didn't I? <laughs> didn't I get cooked for every night? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I got a lot out of the deal. <laughs> Not the deal, but you know, I had fun. So life is about cut some of that off, y'all. No, I don't regret nothing, child. No, I won't regret nothing. Life is full of lessons, baby. But yeah, nah, that man do a lot for me. He probably still would. I can call him up right now. He still would. I know he loved me to death. He just confused. And I ain't got time to be confused with him right now. You know. Life shit. So guys, I'm literally just going to put on a peachy gloss. That's been my go-to lately. This one is from Urban Decay. Oh no, this one is from this one is from Laura Mercier. Love this gloss. It is called Bellini. I'm just gonna put it right over my lip oil. I already have my Dior lip oil on, of course. And it just been making my look, lips look right on these pictures. 
Okay, when are we going to see your new boo? Y'all know what's weird about that? That came from a fake page. A page that had just got started. Y'all know I told y'all that about my last question and answer. We know when y'all make up these pages just to ask us a question. And it didn't get answered. We already talked about that, right? Let's move on. <laughs> you know, I left off y'all been gone a long time. When you, the new boo, have you ever thought about letting your dad stay at your home and you stay on Mr. Hell no. Heck no. Nah. She's over there thinking. First of all, I don't move in with men like that. I like to have my own. And all these years of living and taking care of myself, I've never moved in with a man. Because I don't like my fate to be in the hands of a man. Like, we can just get into it and you put me out. Oh, no, no, no. Even though I would always have somewhere to go with me. And, like, my daddy can't handle the bills and stuff here. Like, how I would still be paying the bills and stuff. <laughs> Very much I would still be paying the bills and stuff. He can't handle on his fixed income so i will be staying with somebody else still covering bills here still helping staying with him so i will be staying with him helping him with um stuff at his house still paying bills here still paying bills at my other properties that's gonna add a whole lot of stress to me mm -mm. no 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 I don't stay with men like that, but I'm sorry. My mama didn't teach me that one. Even if, you know, all the way that was going to happen is a, a ring was put on his finger and we got married. I don't have a need to stay with a man. I have my own. That was a good question, man. Maybe I spent a night all night, but uh, baby, as far as staying, mm -mm. I pass. They give somebody too much mm, over me. I can't even explain what I'm trying to say, but mm -mm. never even thought about that, sis. Okay, the next question say, how's your wedding planning going if you've started? There is no wedding planning. There, I guess there were for some shoes. Uh, we got the colors down pack. Um, the type of wedding and all that she want, but we can get no further than it. Maybe because the wedding is not gonna be anytime soon. So, she want him to get off the ship first. Cause she don't wanna be by herself. So that's not until two years from now. So that hasn't even been considered, guys. So um, I love that little gloss. And I'm not excited about it anymore either because she done ticked me off. I'm real stubborn in certain situations when I'm being mistreated and all that kind of stuff. So. I know this sounds hard to say, but if it's F me, it's F you. And I don't care who you are. So we're going to move right along. Where are you being, Poochie? That's my home, girl. <laughs> we are literally texting right now. Girl, in these streets, you been seeing me? She just sent me a clip of my vlog and told me how I was making her day. Um, When I was trying on those sheen clothes. The last time when I said I wasn't going to talk, but I was talking. She just sent me that clip and told me how funny it was to her. I ain't been outside, y'all. It's so peaceful when you, I mean, y'all know what I mean. Like, clicks and home girls and stuff wise. I go show my support, mind my, my business, and come back home or what's going over his house. I'm trying to stay drama free. I don't need no extra nothing, so... I don't be outside. I don't go to no school functions. No nothing. I'm more like my class. All this is playing or something. I don't do nothing. No, I don't know what's going came over me. I just... Trying to stay as peaceful as possible. You know. The next question is... 
how do you uh how do you feel about how do you feel about getting married again i told you guys in the blog where um should got proposed to that i'm i'm ready i love being secure i love being married i love love so if you follow my lap next week i'm down for it i don't have nothing against marriage i don't have any horror stories people be talking about they got married the person did this with their account they did i don't have none of them kind of horror stories so i'm not afraid to be married again i just want somebody who's already stable who already got a hold of life who got a little hustle to them and who love you literally gotta love me to pieces like you gotta love me through it all like and you gotta show it and prove it but yeah I would love to be married again I really would say no questions auntie but I love your vlogs and your consistency thank you so much baby I've been trying I've been trying. I just wish my channel would get on track. You know, some of y'all got all excited saying how your channel, your numbers are moving. Your, and I don't get excited about that because they always move to a certain number and then they plateau and start subtracting again. So until it get past that certain number, I don't care. Now I just post for y'all and for revenue because clearly YouTube has stunted my growth. But we'll talk about that soon and in person. So, that's that. Yeah, I really do it because I know I, I make a lot of you guys' day. I know that my advice and life hacks and stuff, a lot of you all use. And so, I keep going. These are just some random lashes, child. I don't even know why. They just in my drawer. But as far as like growth and stuff, I told you, yeah, one person was like, oh, you finally da 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 da. And I was like, dang, you watching harder than me because I don't watch anymore because I know when they get to a certain number, they start subtracting. <laughs> Every single time, or I will be way further than what I am. I don't know what, what's going on in the system with that, but what a big shadow man. Right, yeah, I got one more question. I'm going to tighten my bun up. With some bobby pins, child. Mm, I'm going to be so cute. Makeup is done. My Oh, I love this look. This is my everyday favorite look that I do every day, guys. So the question is, are y'all serious enough for you to eventually move in with him? Bloop. Answer that already, so we're done. <laughs> um, We wasn't serious enough at the, at the time we were dating to move on. I don't know. I don't want to talk about him. I'm all though, y'all. I'm pounding now. Um, I think he was more serious than I was, and I think it offended him that I would say, I'm not with anybody, I'm dating, because he would say, nah, you mine. And I'd be like, no, I'm dating. And this the reason why I did that was it was kind of like a test to see if he could handle the dating situation, and he couldn't. So, I'm glad I didn't claim them like that. No more questions about sir. I'm over it. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Um, and you guys' questions have been answered. <sighs> That's my life update, guys. I was doing pretty good. I'm still doing good. But, minus set back for a major comeback. Hey! <laughs> I love y'all. I'll bring y'all another. It's going to be a minute. I don't want to answer no more questions. Y'all just watch the vlogs and see what happened. And break, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye. And guys, please don't forget to check out Ashmari Hair. Everything will be linked below this week. Their company and a discount code.